I'm Sean McKay with The Verge, and this is the Mahindra Gen Z 2.0. It's an all-electric scooter from one of the biggest car manufacturers in the world. Now this one here is actually made in America. They built this in Michigan. So let's actually take a closer look at what it does and how fast it goes. So the Gen Z 2.0 is speed limited to 30 miles an hour so that you can ride it in most states around the country without needing a motorcycle license. Now that's kind of a problem, but it's also sort of the point. You don't want to be riding this thing on roads that are speed limited past 30 miles an hour, 35 miles an hour, uh, but that's not really what Mahindra's made this for. This is really for city centers, for people who have short commutes uh, and really get from point A to point B quickly and can charge it and bring it home later that night. Uh, and it's really good for that. It's a really stable scooter. Uh, the front wheel's bigger than the back wheel and the center of gravity is really low, so it's very easy to ride. It's also super quiet, which is really important because you want to be able to hear cars that are coming up on either side of you. So this thing goes 30 miles an hour, and it also get you 30 miles on a single charge. And when that charge runs out, it'll take about three and a half hours or four hours out of a standard socket to recharge it. You don't actually plug the vehicle in, you take the battery out. It weighs about 30 pounds. It's not the easiest thing to carry around in the world, but you bring that into wherever you can find a standard outlet and plug it in there. Now, there's a lot more going on with the Gen Z too. There's a touchscreen display right up on the handlebars that shows you things like your speed and your battery level, lets you change settings like how much torque you want. Uh, and then inside the scooter is also a 3G radio that beams information up to the cloud so that the app that Mahindra made can do things like run diagnostics, change settings, uh, and it can even route the shortest route for you that's gonna avoid things like freeways. So we had the Gen Z 2.0 for the afternoon and we decided to take it down the strip of Las Vegas here. Nothing like rush hour traffic. I feel like I'm right back in New York City. Uh, and since it's built for that, it actually worked really well. It was a lot of fun to ride around, uh, even in stop and go traffic. It's very maneuverable, so it's easy to get in and out of lanes uh, and make your way through all that traffic. And it's just a lot of fun to ride. Would it be better if it went over 30 miles an hour? Yeah, probably, sure. If I had $3,000 to spend, is this the first thing I'd buy? Probably not. But Mahindra's gonna be making more vehicles like these here in America and around the world. Maybe this isn't the one that I want right now, but whatever Mahindra makes next, that's what I'm waiting for. For more electric rideables and everything else we're covering here at CES 2016, head to theverge.com and head to youtube.com slash theverge and click subscribe. Uh -huh.